Now there is a club, the Bricks. Mm -hmm. uh, why this club? And do you consider that the Bricks will uh, expand? Well, uh, to be honest, why the club? Because there was another club, it was called the G7 and you wouldn't let anybody else into that club. So we said we go and form our own club. ब्रिक्स शिखर सम्मेलन 2024 में भाग लेने के लिए पीएम मोदी रूस के कजान पहुंचे हैं यहां भारत रूस की द्विपक्षीय वार्ता में पुतिन ने पीएम मोदी का स्वागत किया और गले लगाया वहीं एक वीडियो भी सामने आया जिसमें पुतिन के मजाक पर पीएम मोदी को हंसते हुए देखा जा सकता है पीएम मोदी और शी जिनपिंग आज कजान में मिलेंगे लेकिन ब्रिक्स भारत के लिए क्यों अहम है इसका जवाब विदेश मंत्री जयशंकर ने दिया जो कि अब वायरल है because there was another club, it was called the G7 and you wouldn't let anybody else into that club. So we said we go and form our own club. You know. uh, so we decided, okay, uh, you know, we are also, you know, good citizens of good standing who have a place uh, in, the, in the global society and uh, therefore uh, uh, this is how typically clubs multiply. Uh, so, uh, so it started, and as it started, uh, like many clubs, it gained a life of its own. Uh, over a period of time, uh, others saw value in it as well. Uh, and uh, so, in a sense, I would say, uh, uh, I mean, it, it's actually a very interesting uh, group, because if you look at it, uh, typically uh, any, any club or any group has either a geographical contiguity or some common historical experience or, uh, you know, very strong economic connect. There is a, uh, th there are some orthodox binding factors. Uh, but when you have a Brazil uh, in South America and a Russia in Europe and India and China and Asia and later on South Africa was added, uh, the common feature was really, I would say, uh, a big countries rising in the international system, uh, R Russia perhaps had already risen, so would, would not necessarily qualify in that, uh, who felt that their coming together would give them greater weight and greater uh, influence. Now what has happened between when the BRICS started, approximately two decades ago, to where we are now is we see, uh, particularly in the last few years, a lot of interest uh, in, in you know, countries uh, joining the grouping. Uh, we expanded the BRICS. We took the decision to expand the BRICS uh, uh, last year in Johannesburg. Uh, and uh, uh, we extended invitations to more countries, which virtually doubled the number. Uh, we will be meeting uh, soon in Kazan uh, next month. Uh, and uh, we know, I mean, as I, as I travel around the world, uh, I, I frankly see more and more uh, enthusiasm, you know, more, more interest really in countries wanting to be associated in some form or the other. Uh, BRICS, of course, has itself evolved. I mean, in all of this, we've also created a bank, uh, the New Development Bank. Uh, I think in uh, different... Uh, on different issues, we have collective positions, but there are many issues on which our interests also diverge. I mean, uh, India and Russia and China and uh, Brazil, South Africa would not, uh, you know, necessarily agree on all issues. And in, you know, in certain cases, maybe our positions can be quite divergent. Mr. Chairman, Excellency, welcome. Thank you. 